Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, serve the Lord with fear. Wherefore, we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptable with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews 12, 28 through 29. We cannot truly love God unless the fear of God is in us, and the true love for Him is expressed by our walking in obedience to His Word. How much does the fear of the Lord affect the way we live? There are some who have no fear of God. If they did, they would tremble and obey Him. The devil believes and tremble, but he does not obey. Achan was numbered among the believers, but he disobeyed the express Word of God that came by Moses. We thank God for those who fear him and keep his commandments. When Jonah was commanded to go and preach to the Ninevites, he fled from the presence of the Lord and headed to the opposite direction. While he was sleeping in the hold of the ship that he boarded, a great storm arose at the sea and threatened to destroy the vessel and everyone on it. They woke him up and he confessed, I am a Hebrew and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven. Then why did you fear his presence? To them, this made no sense. The Lord said of Job, one that feared God and issued evil. Job never charged God foolishly. The parents of Moses fear God and not man. Noah fear God. If we don't fear God, you will eventually believe that God is easy on sin. You will think that since he's a loving father, he'll never reject you. That you can sin all you want and keep getting up. You'll get on your merry round of sin, confess, sin, confess. And you say to yourself, I can do whatever I want. I'll just run back to Jesus and make it right. He'll forgive me at any moment. (laughs) The fear of God is to be chosen. Why? Because it's rewarding. The fear of the Lord prolongs days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is clean and enduring forever. The Lord pitieth them that fear him. The angel of the Lord encampeth run about them that fear him. There is no one to them that fear him. The Lord is ready to teach his fear to all who desire it. The word of God reminds us, Come ye, children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Before Moses died, he prescribed for Israel's kings how to walk in obedience. Moses could see prophetically that the children of Israel were going to choose a king after their own lust. So he warned them of the time to come. Every king was to constantly feed his mind on God's record past dealings with Israel. He would learn to fear God by seeing how the Lord blessed the obedient and how he utterly destroyed and cursed all who disobeyed his word. When the king did that which was right before the Lord and walked in the fear of God, the Lord was with him and blessed him and prospered him and put the dread of him in all their enemies. When the king did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, then the Lord departed from him and there was famine and ruin and destruction that came upon the land. Today's morning manner is very simple, saints. The one who did that which was right, God blessed. And those who did evil, God forsook. My advice to you today, learn to fear the Lord thy God. The thought of the day, the Lord is ready to teach his fear to all who desire it. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Promise keeper, light in the darkness.